Welcome to Week in Review. I'm inviting you today to take 10 for 10 tips to save thousands of dollars in this tumultuous economy and in these challenging times. You know, I've been in ministry now, right now, for 50 years. And if you think about this, I grew up in a home where really we had no car, we never took vacation, we had no air conditioning, but I've gained a lot of insight and I want to pass it on to you. You know, when Paul wrote his letter to the Philippians, in the end of the letter, I mean, he addressed theological themes, but he also was very practical. And in the end of the letter, he said, I've learned to be abased and I've learned to be abound, but I've learned a secret to be content. And we're going to have to learn to be content because we're in some challenging times. Do you know Bank of America, they said we need to prepare for what they're calling recession shock. And in a recent poll, 81% of Americans said they foresee recession worsening and coming on the scene this year. We're facing inflation at a 40-year high. And think of this, producer prices have gained 11.2%. That's the biggest gain in history. And the Bloomberg report says that the average household this year is going to be paying $5,200 more. Now, if you're rich, you might say, well, that doesn't bother me. But folks, we're called to be good stewards. And you, you, you have to face the brutal realities right now when you go out to get gas, groceries, uh, goods and services, and when you're just going out to a restaurant or some entertainment, or you're going to try to get away on a vacation or whatever it is, you can see what's happening. And that's what we're finding as we're going out. I talked to the manager of a, a, a restaurant in our area that's a national chain, actually globally. And he told me one item I pointed out. He said, oh yeah, we, we just added 39 cents to it. Uh, we're facing this right now. Amazon has just added a 5% surcharge and you're seeing what it is. Now, I want to help you. I, I really do. I wish, you know, here's, here's like $1,000. I wish I could write through the camera, give it to you and say, this is for you to help you. Well, I can't give you the money, but I can give you insight. So bear with me. Go to the commentary and Charisma News on WND and other platforms. But I'm going to go rapidly. But listen, here we go. Are you ready? Number one tip is this. Remove or renounce all impulse buying. Now, that's important. And what is that? That means you go buy a new pledge. You say like, if I can't afford it, then I don't need it. And if I need it, I'm going to save for it. And that's something we need to apply as a pledge. You know, Dave Ramsey, who lives five minutes from where we live here in Franklin, Tennessee, he says the following. He says, look, financial stability is what? It's 20% knowledge, but 80% self-control. So we need to be careful. Number two is this. Enter into a new dimension of financial stewardship through the exchange zone. In other words, make substitutions today. Sacrifice and make changes. You know, years ago, 10 years ago, I stopped going to Starbucks. And I realized I save almost $2,000 every year because that's what I was spending. Get my latte or get my mocha frappuccino. It all adds up. Substitute. Make iced coffee at home. Or maybe as a family, you say, well, we go through Chick-fil-A line, get those nuggets and all that. I love Chick-fil-A. I love Dan Cathy. But right now, maybe we need to make some exchange and maybe take a lunch to work or feed, you know, food that we prepare to the children, you can save hundreds of dollars every month. And I'm not kidding you because you know the food there is great, but it's also expensive. Make some substitutions. Number three, I add this. Adjust your thermostat to save on costly electricity. In summer, you know what? You know, use wisdom how you dress and also with the thermostat. And the same thing with winter. And you know what? You can get a good uh, heaters that are oil. They're safe. You can also uh, wear sweaters. You know, heating oil, you see the price right now. And uh, same thing, you can get a, a, a wrap that goes around your, your uh, water heater and it keeps it warmer. Be careful with electricity. That's something really to be careful of. All right, number four, are you ready? Buy gas at Costco. Yeah, Costco. I've compared. I've gone to one place, another. I see 30 to 40 percent. And then be careful in your driving. Maximize it. Don't make unnecessary trips. You could slow down. And, and really, this is another way you can save money. Number five is this. Look for discounts, incentives, pro, uh, uh, programs, freebies, and coupons. You know, our daughter-in-law saves 
thousands of dollars. And she always impresses me. I'll say, hey, that's new. Where'd you get that? She said, oh, I got it. Guess what? I got it for 40 bucks. And she looks online. There's sales, garage sales. People are moving. You can do that. And you want to look for these kind of things. And don't be afraid to ask for coupons or bargains. This is something, you know, we save big by uh, using generic meds. Somebody recommended something for my eyesight, uh, Restasis. It would have been thousands of bucks for me. But you know what? I paid a buck a month. You say, what? Use generic. Ask your ophthalmologist, your, your doctor. And so this is another thing. Look for the discounts. When I go get pizza, the guy told me, if you, come, if you come in, you can always ask. You got any specials? Don't be hesitant, okay? You want to save money. All right, let me give you number six. Smile, be friendly, learn to negotiate and appeal for the lower price and upgrades. Yeah, you know what? Appeal. Garage sales, your rent, uh, cable bills, etc. Ask them. Say, I'm a loyal customer. It's difficult. Your rent. You can say, I've been here for four years and I noticed somebody got a discount. Don't be hesitant. Be bold and ask in a good spirit, but be friendly. All right? Number seven is this. Maintain your car. Avoid sticker shock of used cars that are now 30% higher and be careful with a new model. It depreciates 10% once it's driven right off the lot. You know what? I drive a Honda. I love it. And it's 10 years old. My wife, she drives her CRV Honda. It's got 260,000 miles on it and it's great. Be careful with cars. Warren Buffett, he's a billionaire. You know what? He lives in the same home that he had in 1957. You say, what? And the last time I heard he's driving an older car, he's careful. You want to be not stingy, but frugal. Watch it. All right, number uh, eight is this. Unless, listen to this, unless you're offered a scholarship, I encourage you with your children to stay in state and avoid massive college debt. You know, there's an article you can Google called Employers Favor State Schools. That was in the Wall Street Journal. I went to Cleveland State University, a commuter school. I applied for financial aid. I ran to be the president of the student body. I got free tuition in my senior year. And then you say, well, I probably didn't get a good job. Um, folks, I worked in D.C. I lived in Chevy Chase, Maryland. And I, that's, at that time, was the most expensive, had the highest median income in America. And um, what happened was I worked across from the White House. I'm not trying to impress you, but I got a good job. I talked to a guy. I said, where do you want to go after, after high school? He said, well, I think I want to go out to California, San Diego State. I said, you better check it. And you know what? I said to him, you can pay up to $300,000. And yet here you can get two years free tuition, et cetera. Use wisdom. You know, when I moved to D.C., all the other interns, they were spending thousands with high rent. I found a widow in a church. I got a room and a bathroom upstairs. And, you know, I paid a pittance. And at the end of nine months, I saved about $7,000 compared to them. All right, let me give you some more tips here. Number eight. All right, I'll say this. Number nine. Be like the wise ant in Proverbs in saving and preparing when shopping, have a prepared list to avoid impulse buying. Purchase in bulk at discount superstores. Cancel cable movies and select from hundreds of free items, DVDs at the library. And, and, and save on your water bill. When you're brushing your teeth, turn it off. I take military showers. I took one this morning. You say, what's that? Well, I save lots. You jump in, you get wet, turn it off soap up, then you wash off, it's done. There's all kinds of things. I encourage you, you can make some substitutes. How about this? Be careful with going to Disney. You want to spend as a family for a week vacation over five, $7,000? You say, is that how much? You better be careful. Check it out. Go local. Go to museums. Go camping. We did that. You can save tens of thousands over five, six years. All right. And number 10 is this one. I love this one. Never rob God. Be faithful with first fruit, tithes, and offerings. Uh, the Bible in Malachi, God says, you're robbing me because the people weren't being faithful with their first fruits. Now, tithing, I don't believe that's a law. It's a principle. It's just like when you learn to ride a bike. You remember that? You needed training wheels. It helps you take 10% full, not after you pay the bills. And then God says, I'm going to open windows of heaven, pour out a blessing. You can't even contain it. God blesses us when we're generous. Don't be like those in the book of um, uh, Haggai. They, were, uh, they weren't giving themselves to God's purposes. And God says, I'm going to blow on your finances. You're putting it into a, in a bag and it's just like it goes right through the bottom. So, 
I hope these are helpful to you. Go to the article on Charisma News, WND, learn, pass this on, post it, pray for God's wisdom during this season, but realize we're in a challenging time. John Wesley, founder of Methodism, I like it, biblically, he said this. Here's my counsel. He said, earn all you can, save all you can, and give all you can. Let's be faithful with our finances. Let's be faith-filled, believing God. All our needs will be met as we seek first His kingdom. And then let's be frugal and watch God bless us.